one thing I always try to do with my students is I want to give them a real world example. You can practice short field landings all you want. You can practice soft field landings all you want, but how can we make them real world applicable? You see, that's what we're doing here today at Flying Tiger Field. Runway 27, right behind me, you see 70 foot trees. That's what we're gonna come in and clear. We're filming videos for our commercial pilot online ground school. You see, I can show you technique on a short field or a soft field, but I wanna show you real world applicability on how to make that happen. So let's clear a real obstacle. Let's clear, let's land on real soft field. That is the ultimate goal, and that is why we are here today at Flying Tiger Field, clearing those trees right over there. Welcome to the Flying Tiger Airport, FL54, I believe. A great place to do a real short field takeoff. Run-up's already complete. I got 70 feet of trees at the end here. Uh, both ends, really. Landing's gonna be more interesting, but I'll show you this takeoff here real quick. Hold short line, confirm. Hard to see if we're clear left, huh, Matt? Yeah. But definitely clear right. If you wanna let them know, we're 2-7, uh, staying in the pattern. Flying Tiger traffic, Skyline 5284 Tango is taking runway 27. Four departure will be staying in the pattern at Flying Tiger. All right, still looking. No traffic in sight. Everything's looking great. Run-up's complete. Before land checklist, just double checking. Fuel's both. Everything's good. Props full forward. Everything's set. Swing it out here. Remember, guys, how important it is. Like we talk about using every little bit of runway. We're lucky we have this little overflow area here. So I'll go a little bit past that. But essentially, the number's 2-7 here. And we hold our brakes. We're centered. Confirm 2-7. 2-7. Matt, you see 2-7 out there? I do. Smoothly apply full power all while holding the brakes. This is your last chance to double check engine gauges. A lot of power to hold back, engine gauges all green my side, off the brakes in three, two, one, evenly off the brakes. Roll, 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 roll. Gonna rotate a little bit sooner. There goes 500 feet. There goes 600 feet. Seven. Off in about 800 feet. And climbing out. VX. I can literally see when I'm clearing my obstacle, I got those trees right there. I'm clear of the trees around here. Nose over, VY, up and clear. In that case, in that case too, you could bring gear up as soon as possible, whatever else you have to do with that case, and make that adjustment. There's your takeoff for you guys. We'll see you guys over on the landing. See ya. Guys, welcome to the downwind now. I've got some trees to clear. My point I'm aiming for is the 500 foot marks. Gear is down, props already full forward. Confirm green light, one in my window. One in my window. Everything's good. A beam light touchdown point, bring that some power back and 10 degrees of flaps. A little different than those power off 180s. Perhaps you guys have seen the hard to see that 500 foot mark. <laughs> Two out there, jeez, this will be uh, this will be interesting to see what we can do here. But coming on in, making sure I'm establishing a nice descent. Airspeed is king. I'm showing 88 Caution. right now. Terrain. Everything's looking Terrain. good. And I'm gonna extend Caution. this out just a little bit Terrain. more. And Matt, when you're Terrain. ready, if you'd like to call my Warning. base, I'm ready to turn. Terrain. Flying Tiger traffic. Terrain. Five two eight four. Tingles turning left. Warning. Base, turn away two seven. Flying Terrain. Tiger. And I'm turning to base. No flaps in a turn. Warning. Terrain. Terrain. And just keeping her Warning. coming around on base. Managing Terrain. airspeed. Airspeed's now down Terrain. to 80. Not bad for a 182 RG Terrain. with 10 degrees of flaps and all. Warning. All right. Terrain. I'm going to wait till I'm on final. I feel a little bit on the low Warning. side. Terrain. Terrain. And you can tell I'm turning final. Warning. Flying Tiger traffic. Terrain. Flying Tiger traffic. Flying Tiger traffic. Flying Tiger traffic. Flying Tiger Flying Tiger Warning. Terrain. Terrain. I see those 500 foot marks. I'm looking, you can't see the numbers. Terrain. No. You can barely see the 500 foot. Yeah. I mean, that, that is Warning. like the foul you could hit. Terrain. All right. Going Terrain. 20 degrees of flaps. Warning. Terrain. Managing my airspeed a little bit better Terrain. here. Warning. I just want to clear those trees. Terrain. I see them. Terrain. Warning. Terrain. Terrain. Warning. Terrain. Terrain. Warning. Terrain. Terrain. 
Warning. Terrain. Holy man. Terrain. Warning. Terrain. Warning. And. Terrain. Terrain. Slipping her on from my point. Warning. Terrain. Terrain. And letting her roll Warning. on out. Terrain. <laughs> <laughs> that was intense. Warning. That was intense. Terrain. I hope you guys enjoyed that Terrain. as much as I did, because Warning. that was about as close Terrain. as we Warning. could get to Terrain. hit that point. Terrain. That is a challenge, and I Warning. accept that challenge to do that. Terrain. That was amazing. Terrain. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a that was very very cool. Um, anyways, guys, jeez. Get out and practice yourself a real short field landing uh, is my point to this. We can practice it all we want, you know, simulate it and everything else, but you've got to get out there and really do it yourself. That is what's so important. So that's my challenge to you guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Sorry I got quiet there on final. It's because <laughs> I was thinking... I got to hit this point. <laughs> that was very intense. You got to see some good real world flying. Less instructional, Jason, and just well, let's get it done, Jason. Hope you guys really uh, enjoyed that uh, perspective as well. Anyways, guys, go out and make some short field landings happen. Thank you guys rock. We'll see you.